Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michael Smiley and today we're going to review Supergirl Season 5. Okay, so um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Anyway, um, Supergirl Season 5. Okay, so Supergirl is on the CW. Um, they started on CBS with the first season, and then CBS canceled them, and the CW picked it up, and it has been on the CW ever since. The CW has done absolutely incredible with it, um, and I love all the characters from Lena to Kara to um, Alex and um, Manel and... Um, the Martian Manhunter, um, Jean, and Brainiac, and, um, let's see, we have, um, of course I'm trying to think about it, I'm drawing a blank, um, but, it's really crazy because the fifth season was filmed and kind of ran into the pandemic situation. So it only had 19 episodes versus its normal 22. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. Oh, and the series also celebrated its 100th episode in um, the fifth season, which is really good really great actually not really good really great i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> um so i love her new costume because for the first four seasons she had a skirt now she actually has pants that go along with her newly designed outfit and she has bangs and it's like a whole new her in this um but um, oh, I love Dreamer's character, and, um, yeah, all, all the new people, too. So, I was, I just had a brain fart, just, like, I want, I had a whole bunch of things to say about this amazing show, and it just, like, went blank on me when I was naming off, you know, all the people that I love. Anyway, Dreamer is one of my favorite characters, so obviously I'm not gonna forget about her. Anyway. Back to season five. So, um, season four was absolutely, I love season four. I actually think that is the best of the series so far. The CW did renew this for a season six and season six is going to be the final season. And I'm really, I'm sad about ending at season six, but I feel like it had a really great, strong run. So I'm, disappointed but I'm not disappointed at the same time because I could just watch her forever because I just I'm sorry guys <clears throat> apparently I'm tired <laughs> um and I do wholeheartedly apologize for yawning so much in a lot of my past videos um to give you a little rundown a little past history um I I have been dealing with severe sleep apnea, um, which I did not know at the time when I was so tired and yawning during the videos and stuff because I was literally tired all the time. And so I did a sleep study and my oxygen was at 75 and just it was the whole situation was not good. Um, I got a CPAP machine and I do, like, the biggest improvement is my migraines have for just completely and utterly disappeared, um, for the most part. Since I've had the CPAP, I've had it for, like, two months now, and I've had a total of three migraines. I was on three different migraine medications, one preventative and two to deal with migraines, because no one knew what was going on and anyway to make a long story short a friend well friends of mine have told me a couple times that I stopped breathing in my sleep so I was like okay 
so I brought it up to my doctor because it was now going on like two or three years of consistent migraines every single day to the point where I would it just caused me to vomit all over and just just it just made me so physically sick and everything no energy to do anything it was affecting me at my job it was affecting me while I was driving it was affecting me just doing this so now we're getting that under control though so hopefully we see a lot less of me yawning and doing all that stuff because I completely apologize obviously I have more energy and you can see that I have more energy and more awake and more alert than I was in my past videos so we're getting there slowly but surely back to Supergirl so season five um so, season five was not my favorite, um, because I really, truly, and I knew that the season was going to turn out the way that it did because of the ending of the fourth season. The fourth season was absolutely incredible. It was, it was the best, in my opinion, the best season of the series so far. Um, we do have a whole nother season, season six next year but we'll review that when it comes out um i wholeheartedly miss cat i wish that she would come back i hope that she comes back for the final season she has been greatly missed um i hated hated the um the fight the constant fighting between kara and lena because i really love lena and I really love Kara, and I just really, really hated, I hated that they were pitted against each other, and that it dragged on for so long, and I'm just over it. They need to kiss, make up, the writers need to stop messing with friendships, and let's get on to actually facing down actual villains. Because Lena is not one, so I don't know why they keep trying to make her out with, to be one. Because up until this point, she's done fantastic with making sure that she didn't turn out like her Luther family. <clears throat> so anyway, um, I really do love the case. And I love... Okay, so aside from the Lena and Kara fighting and everything... Um, there were so many characters felt like they were being sidelined in this season. I re actually read an article. It didn't influence me at all because I had already made up my own mind. Nobody influences me. I take away and make my own opinion about things. Um, but they did have excellent points about how characters were sidelined in the season. and Or it felt like they were sidelined. Um... Because so much has been built up until this point, and then season five kind of dropped the ball on a lot of things. Um, a huge highlight was a, um, a return of one of the original characters, um, and Levi Leviathan is actually pretty interesting and cool and stuff, especially since they, they're like ancient aliens that have are so powerful that they cause like natural disasters that were recorded throughout history and really cool stuff so the potential is there and they had a great idea and and i know where they were trying to go with that and that part was really cool um and i'm so sick of lex luther the actor is amazing, and he does play Lex Luthor to a T, but I'm just, I'm over him. Um, put him in Superman's new show. We don't want him on Supergirl anymore. <laughs> just kidding. The actor is really amazing, though. So I will give him props for that. Um, but they, I really, really, really am so excited for this Leviathan show off with Supergirl. Um... Because I think that that would be a really good, it would feel like a solid ending because she'd be facing one of her toughest opponents. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, I just don't like 
some of the things that happened in season five and in my opinion season five I don't know I don't know I just I don't think that it's as especially coming off after season four because season four was so great and I really loved season three also um yeah so really the only one that this really competes with is the first season in comparison to like goodness um but anyway um obviously i do recommend everyone to watch it because it does um unfold a lot of things and obviously it's supergirl she is about um she is about compassion she is about um goodness she has so much heart to her um there's so much heart and soul that goes on in this show and that's what i really love about it i don't like that it's all gloom and doom all the time and all that stuff like a lot of the other shows are she's really about um overcoming things and seeing the good in people and just really staying positive and good and everything so um yeah out of all the arrowverse shows she is my favorite actually <clears throat> so i actually did start with arrow so it's called the arrowverse on the cw because arrow kind of kicked off all the dc all all the dc all the dc shows that are on the cw <clears throat> so we have arrow the flash um supergirl batwoman legends of tomorrow um we're gonna have superman and lois and we have um black lightning um so all those shows I have not watched, honestly, I have not watched, um, The Legends of Tomorrow, so I, I cannot comment on that show. <clears throat> I have heard really mixed things about it. Either people really loved it or they really did not. There's really no, or kind of, eh. but, um, I think that it'd be interesting because there's a lot of time travel, time travel guys i can't talk today um there's a lot of time travel and different cool things that they can separate themselves from the rest of the arrowverse um so the flash and supergirl are all about positivity and overcoming obstacles and seeing the best in people and you know they have a lot of heart and soul um arrow and batwoman are more gloom and doom and more i don't want to say more serious because supergirl can obviously be serious because there's a lot of moments where it will tug at your heartstrings and even the flash does that too um so they they are serious when they need to be um but it's not like all the time like arrow 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 and batwoman like everything is like so dark all the time and a lot of more things take place at nighttime instead of daytime and the it's just more i don't know it's not light vibes or anything um but anyway out of all the arrowverse shows i really do love supergirl the best for a huge number of reasons i did start with um arrow i thought that that was an incredible show um, even though it's a, a essentially Batman story. Um, and, um, I did love, um, The Flash, and I love Black Lightning, and, oh my god. So, my next review is gonna be about the first season of Batwoman, because I have a lot of things to say about that one. So make sure you check that out, um on my channel after this video so um supergirl is on netflix so check it out or you can buy a copy like i did if you have the rest of the collection um i think that it was good i don't think that it was great 
with this season. Um, season four was great. This was good. This is, you know. So hopefully they bump it back up for season six. So only time will tell, and we'll see you next year in 2021. So anyway, guys, um, make sure you comment below if there's any um, reviews that you want to see me do for any shows, any products, any movies. I have hundreds of movies. I have Netflix. I have Hulu. I have Disney Plus. I can literally review a number of different things. So um, until next time, guys, have a great day.